now we are going to discuss uh, next article that is top down pda corresponding to a context free grammar we all know uh, the pda is basically constructed for context uh, context free languages and in the third unit also we have discussed that for every context free language we can have a context free grammar so basically uh, both these components that is pda and context free grammar are uh, constructed for context free languages so both these components are constructed for context free language so a grammar for context free language is cfg and a machine for context free language is a pda so there is something that is common in between these two that is that they are basically working for context free languages so can there be a relevance between pda and context free grammar so the answer is yes because as both are related to context free language there has to be certain relevance in between these two so what we are going to learn under this topic is that whether we have a pda that is corresponding to a context free grammar so input will be in the form of a context free grammar and what we need to construct out of it is a pda so up till now in the problems whatever we have discussed we used to be given language as input and for language we were constructing pda but now language won't be given but rather even if the language is given we should first construct context free grammar for that and based on that grammar we are going to construct pda for that we are not going to directly construct any pda for that so in order to do this let us understand uh, the mathematical formulation for this particular article okay suppose that there is a the grammar context free grammar given in the form of g uh, which will be say vn vt sn p uh, let it be a context free grammar let it be a context free grammar uh, then with this we have to define a machine now so we will define a machine which will be called as machine m which will be our seven tuple pda capital q alphabet uh, q0 a delta to and z0 this machine will be defined as follows now here our terminal symbols will be referred to as alphabet symbols our terminal symbols will be referred to as alphabet symbols so what will be our capital q so capital q in this type of problems will comprise of only three states how many states will be there there will be compulsory three states in every problem that you are going to solve in this type of conversion that is grammar to pda conversion there will be only three three states so we are calling those three states as q0 q1 and q2 where our initial state will be called as where our initial state will be called as q0 our alphabet will be the terminal symbols from our grammar alphabet will be terminal symbols from our grammar and initial state will be q0 which is basically belonging to capital q our accepting state of this particular problems is always going to be q2 our accepting state for each of this problem is always going to be q2 okay our toe in these problems will comprise of all the symbols which are there in non terminal symbols union with all the symbols which are there in terminal which are nothing but our alphabet symbols because terminal symbol itself as our are our alphabet symbols and the z0 symbol which is our initial stack symbol and z0 symbol which is our initial stack symbol okay this is going to be our toe okay then z0 will be our initial stack symbol z0 will be our initial stack symbol which will be belonging to toe which will be belonging to toe so we have defined six tuples out of the seven tuples for our machine so grammar will be given v n v t s p this will be a given context free grammar we have to construct or we have to define a pda which will be seven tuple as follows now our set of states will have compulsory three states in all the problems it will be q0 q1 and q2 initial state will be q0 alphabet will be our vt accepting state will be set q2 which is basically subset of our capital q again to is all the non terminal symbols union all the terminal symbols which is nothing but our alphabet and z0 and z0 is our initial stack symbol now apart from this we need to construct the deltas right we need to construct delta so our first delta will be to move from the initial state q0 
to q1 and while we while we move from initial state uh, that is q0 to q1 we are going to push the starting symbol of our grammar on stack we are going to push the starting symbol of our grammar onto the stack so how this will look so this delta will look like this that delta of q0 comma null i am not processing any input string and z0 which is initial stack symbol what we will do we will push s that is starting symbol on top of stack so from initial state this is our initial state input that will process will be null current initially the top of stack will be z0 we will go to state q1 and while going to state q1 what we are going to push we are going to push s what is s s is starting symbol of our grammar this will push on stack and z0 will still remain on our top of the, on the bottom of our stack correct after this now we are going to allow some other moves okay after this we are going to allow some other moves what are those other moves now these other moves will be constructed with help of following rule what is that rule for every non terminal symbol that is belonging to vn comma delta of q1 comma null comma that non terminal symbol is q1 comma alpha where a gives alpha is a production rule in the given grammar what is the second rule okay for every non terminal in the vn okay so vn will have some non terminal we are going to write production rule like delta of q1 comma null comma a that non terminal is q1 comma alpha now what is alpha alpha is suppose in the in the given grammar you have production rule a gives alpha so this a will come on left hand side and this production rules alpha means right hand side will be any combinations of terminals and non terminals this will coming this is going to come on right hand side if you have two production rules it will be in the form of non determinism right so you will have two options over here so whatever number of production rules are there in your given grammar for all those production rules in that production rule for every non terminal symbol you are going to write this particular syntax okay we'll see example so that you will understand this in this is in a detailed way the next rule is that for every terminal symbol which is there in your vt or which is there in your alphabet for that matter you are going to write a delta of q1 comma that terminal symbol as a pop condition for that symbol so if your top of stack is the same terminal symbol and your input that you are processing is the same terminal symbol you are going to write a pop condition so these are rules which you have to apply while solving the numerical right and the final rule is that delta of q1 comma null comma z0 when everything will be finished we have to enter into accepting state that is q2 okay so the first and fourth move are very straight forward we can say that first move is just that we have to push the starting symbol of our grammar on the stack and the fourth move is just we have to uh, process a null and z0 and we have to go to accepting state that is q2 what is important is step number 2 and 3 in step number 2 we have to consider all the production rules and for each of those production rules we have to write those deltas in q1 and in third production rule we have to write pop conditions for all the terminal symbols which are there in our problem so this is how we are going to convert uh, a grammar into a pda right so just to repeat once again let g be the given grammar context free grammar we have to construct a machine m pda as capital q alphabet q0 a delta to z0 there will be three states q0 q1 q2 initial state will be q0 alphabet will be our terminal symbols accepting state will be our q2 the set of symbols on our stack will be all the non terminal symbols terminal symbols and z0 z0 is our initial stack symbol which is belonging to to there will be four types of delta first delta is to push starting symbol of our grammar on stack 
second delta is corresponding to all the production rules which are there in our given grammar for all those non terminal symbols we are going to write the uh, uh, deltas in the form of second rule third rule for all the terminal symbols we are going to write a condition for pop and finally uh, we are going to uh, write the processing of null z0 to enter into accepting state that is queued so this is mathematical formulation for top down pda corresponding to a context free grammar so in the next video based on this we will be discussing the numerical for conversion of cfg to pda